Hello crypto people. Now this video is an introduction video to Bismuth newbies who would like for the first time uh, send or receive Bismuth. And in order to do this, you would need to download the Bismuth wallet and install it. So we are here now at the Bismuth official website. On that side, you just click on the get now and you would be transferred to the, this side. <laughs> Um, where you could download the latest version and if, if I click this link you uh, you are now here on the github page where you could download the latest release you have here three options um, if you are a Windows user of course you would uh, click on the first link and uh, double click the Bismuth installer and install this application now since I am on a Mac I would need to download the third option, um, unzip it and uh, run the terminal, um, which I'm going to show you right now. I can also show you, I can here show you the file. Now it says the latest file is this one here, 4.2.5.3 and now this is the folder and you see there is no wallet.der so um, when I open this application for the first time the wallet will be created automatically and a file will be added so uh, that's what I'm going to do now this is here now my terminal and um, I am now executing this um, this command python3 wallet.py which will now create an address so in this address you can use for transferring bismuth receiving sending and also signing messages which is also very important so now you see that um, the wallet has been opened it's a light wallet because um, uh, we call it a light wallet because it's not connected to your own node it's not a full node so it's a remote node uh, connected to bismuth.live which means uh, you don't have to run your own node so that's the light <laughs> that's the reason why it's called light um, now you see i have zero bis so no bismuth but i have an address and the address is stored. I could go here, up here in the wallet. Um, now my spending URL, QR code would be this one here. This is my spending. But uh, of course, uh, this is only needed if you have um, also a smartphone uh, application which could uh, read it. But I think at this time you would not need it. So you just click on send, for example, and here you see this is my address. This is my receiving address and also my sending address. And with this code, I can receive and send Bismuth. So if I would like to receive Bismuth, I would just copy that address and put it wherever you need it in order to receive Bismuth, okay? And that's, um, yeah. That's for sending and receiving. It's the same public. That's a public address or the receiving address. So now, for example, if we head over to the Dragonator website, now this is here. Um, yeah, we could just, um, I wanted to show you something else. For example, if we w wanted to sign a message, I would just copy the message, uh, first select of course the mes message, copy it and then uh, head over to um, to the wallet and click on sign messages. That would be the message, paste it in here and now sign the message and now that's the signed message which you could just copy and then go back 
where you need to paste it and paste it in here and then register. Now, when a cup, is, uh, I mean, when a, an egg is already registered, uh, it will say it. So this egg, for example, is already registered. So this is only in, uh, needed when you want to participate in that uh, dragon eggs cup, okay? So, but anyway, you, uh, you will all, always need your address, your bismuth address for sending and receiving bismuth. And it's really easy. So if we go to, um, you see that uh, a minute ago, I showed you this folder and now a new uh, file has been created, which is the wallet.der file, which uh, has um, the public and also the private key in it. So whenever you want to back up your public and private key, this is the file, all right? Okay, so I think that's all. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching.